Welcome back to the big playback. Now let's get to some football highlights. The Summit Storm looking for a revenge game against the Roseburg Indians, and it was a great night for football. A little bit of rain and a little bit of, or not too cold, I should say, and Roseburg came to play. They caught me off guard with this play. Colton Marsters taking it all the way to the end zone. They also caught off the Summit Storm with this play. And how do the Summit Storm respond? How about Hogan Carmichael throwing this pass to Lucas Steffen going 90 yards for the touchdown. This was the Storm's first possession and I believe their third play of the game. Hogan Carmichael hyped up. And we'll talk about this a little bit more later, but the Summit defense has been an absolute wall all season long. Charlie Ozelin wrapping up Caden Eckel and he looks to his sidelines and says are you not entertained are you not entertained all right Hogan Carmichael now dropping back looking for his receiver it's deflected and intercepted by none other than Marsters who also plays on the defensive side of the ball Roseburg would end up with some great field possession but they get shut down by the storm defense and look at that big tackle by Jack Clemens he's also saying are you not entertained Carmichael this time rolling to his left, finding Tag Brown for the score. Summit Storm get the revenge, and they move on to the quarterfinals, taking down the Roseburg Indians 37 to 19. All right, Lapine Hawks still with the chance to advance to the 3A semifinals. The Hawks take on the number five seed Warrington Warriors tomorrow afternoon in Warrington. All right. Now it's time for some top plays. Let me take a deep breath. My favorite part of the show, but up first, we have last week's winners. It's Chip Ehlers' sack against South Medford in last week's first round of the playoffs. Congratulations, Chip. You're our Week 10 winner. All right, now to this week. Let's head over to that chalkboard for some top plays of the week. Up first, it's Nani DePiro doing all the work himself on the counterattack. How about some soccer love for the Summit Boys soccer team? One versus three, and Nani scores when he wants. I said it earlier, slotting it home. Summit Boys soccer team are dominant. All right, number two, it's Lucas Steffen from tonight's game, finding some open space and catching this pass from Hogan Carmichael and going 90 yards for the touchdown. And might I add, untouched, kids got some speed. Make it into the end zone. Hogan Carmichael loving it, finding the open man. All right, number three, for some defense love. We just saw this play, Jack Clemens getting into the backfield and blowing this Roseburg play up. Summit Storm shutting down the Roseburg offense. All right, Central Oregon, it's in your hands. Who is your winner? You can vote now at KTBZ.com.